Hey everybody, welcome to another Canadian Mortgage Reaction video today with uh, myself, Joe Bladick. I'm a mortgage broker in uh, Simcoe County with Sam as well. How are you doing, Sam Thompson? Hi everybody. Um, yeah, thanks for having me, Joe. I'm, I'm doing well. I'm excited for today's video. It's a very interesting uh, reaction article. I had a, a good chuckle when I read it myself, but... <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Well, let's just dive right in because we want to uh, just look at it all together. But just seeing that 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 uh, article here, I mean, a vacant piece of land less than 30 centimeters wide <laughs> hits the Toronto market and it's attracting attention. I mean, what could you possibly put on this piece of land, Sam? I'm not really sure what I could even fathom about that. Yeah, exactly. Under a, a foot wide is, is not a lot of real estate to work with. <laughs> <laughs> totally get that but looking at a little bit of the uh, meat of the article I mean it looks like uh, it's hit the market for 50,000 already got three offers which is pretty wow. amazing um, I mean the Danforth Avenue I've been there it's a really nice area mm -hmm. um, looks like this the property it hit the market last month 49,999 so let's look at the dimensions not even one foot wide, <laughs> but it is 105 feet deep. So that, that's a pretty decent depth to that lot. It's got a long depth. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Too small to for any... that space. Yeah. Too small for anything to be built on it though, Sam. Mm -hmm. But uh, I mean, looking at it here, looks like the property was purchased in 2013 for $5,000. Now, wow. if they do sell it for 50000 that's quite an investment. That's 10 times the initial investment. Pretty good. Yeah, that's right. I mean, real estate's always a good investment, I guess, even if it's an interesting property. It seems like it still works in your favor. Yeah. So it looks like it could be around this little part here. We were looking at it together there, Sam, earlier. Mm -hmm. Between the two fence posts, probably that little area. <laughs> I mean, I, I bet the owners right now of this area cut the lawn here. Right. <laughs> yeah. So why would anyone want to purchase this property? So yeah, it could be a good investment here. Looks like we can see this is the location of the property. Um, but yeah, it makes an interesting point. If the church or the pharmacy next door does ever sell, um, developers could buy the whole lot and then build a bigger building of some kind and Danforth Ave I could possibly see that happening yeah for sure I mean that's probably the only way that you know it's really going to end up paying off is if it gets bought you know in addition to a lot for for you know a development or remodel yeah yeah I wonder if you could you know build anything else on this property maybe a billboard sign I'm not sure yeah that's right <laughs> um but anyway one of the cheaper investment properties I've seen in Toronto as of late, that's for sure. I mean, it seems like if you want to buy any sort of investment land or property in Toronto, even parking spots command a higher purchase price. Yes. <laughs> but regardless, if you are or know someone who's looking at an investment property or looking at buying land or real estate, to give us a call, Sam Thompson or myself, Joe Bladick, or Terry Lynn at the office, we can help you get started on a mortgage pre-approval for your investment property today. Um, I would like to take a moment to introduce Sam Thompson. Sam is a mortgage agent with Mega Mortgage. He's been with us for about a year and three quarters now and uh, approaching two years very soon. Mm -hmm. Sam, great to have you always on the show. Thanks for taking the time to review this article with me today. I, I appreciate it. And yes, always good to have you on here. Yeah, thanks so much for having me. Um, yeah, it was a, an interesting article to look at. And yeah, definitely reach out, you know, if you're looking for an investment um, property, even if it's less than a foot wide, we can see the dividend payoff of 10 times your investment, <laughs> at least in this case. Um, and yeah, it's always good to be on with you, Joe. Um, for anybody who doesn't know, uh, Joe just surpassed 11 years in the industry this month. Um, so again, you know, um, tons of information on the market, especially in, in the investing side. Um, I know that Joe has a lot of knowledge um, towards that. So definitely give us a call if you're interested. And again, thanks for having me today, Joe. Thanks very much, Sam. And 
Uh, for all of you watching, uh, please uh, like, comment, share our videos, and we'd love to see you next time.